to my YouTube channel and to another video. What's become somewhat of a custom over the last few years is that at the start of each academic year I would do some kind of room tour showing you the room that I would be in for the next academic year. This time around obviously it's been a bit different because of the coronavirus pandemic. I've been at home for the past 13 months. I did have the opportunity to go back to Cambridge last Michaelmas but decided not to for personal reasons. So the room I'm in now, I'm only going to have for one term. But I thought I would still do a room tour. Now I'm back in Cambridge. Now I'm back at Homerton College. I thought I would do a room tour. I think it would just be good to do one. So I'm going to show you my room. And you can see a bit of it here. You might have seen it a little bit in the vlog that's already been out. But I'm going to show you the full room. And this year I'm in Southcourt uh, accommodation block uh, at Homerton College. So yeah. Here's my room tour. So we'll start off with where I would enter my room. As you can see here on the hook, I've got my umbrella and my jacket. And then I've got on the door handle here, my, a bag that I use for shopping, but not just any regular bag though. I got this bag for my 21st birthday from two of my good friends. And it is a BTS uh, themed bag uh, from the B era uh, when they released their B album. You're going to hear me mention BTS one or two times, so just bear that in mind. Then as you come right, you come to the bathroom facilities. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you, obviously this is, it's a shower uh, as opposed to a bath. Uh, so you can see the facilities there. You can see obviously where I've got what I would need for a shower. And then you come over here, you can see mirror. So you can see myself here. And then you can see where I've got my toothpaste, toothbrushes, combs, and then Got some soap uh, with something to pop on it and then I've got an air freshener and something else there and then I've got the sink here. So these are the bathroom facilities. Small but just what Aussie I need. Turning clockwise a bit more, here is my bed. It's a comfortable bed, it's just Aussie what I need. And then I've got a nice drawer on the left as you can see there and then underneath there I've got some papers as well as Sir John Laws' new book, The Constitutional Balance, which I've been reading. Very good book, I definitely recommend it. Then turn right a little bit more, we've got the suitcase so see, that I brought down with all my clothes and all my belongings I wanted to bring. And then there was a nice chair that comes with, uh, with the room, and then that's the cushion that I brought down myself. But yeah, it's a nice comfortable bed. You then come to the view that you get. It's, it's not too bad of a view, so you can see accommodation block over there that is West House that was the accommodation that I was in in first year in fact the room opposite I'm not too sure of this uh, so don't quote me on it but I believe the room opposite may have been my room from first year which uh, is some crazy coincidence but it might just be my room from first year but I'll just show you a bit more of the view there it's quite a beautiful view so you can see some lovely flowers and of vegetation out there and obviously there's some seating over there as well and then come to the right uh, just beyond there you'll see bike rack and then obviously that nearby would be the car park but it's not too bad of a view I quite like it and as you get some nice sun uh, on the morning when it's sunny and these are the quite long and large shelves that come with this room as you can see, there's nothing much on the top two shelves. And by nothing much, there isn't really much. There's only my uh, tripod that I use for certain videos or certain shots that I want to do or me want to do. But yeah, there's nothing much on there. Plus, I didn't really bring any textbooks with me this time because most of the resources that I'm using are accessible online. But I can show you some of the things on this shelf. So mainly on this shelf are some pictures. So the first one here is some pictures uh, from my 18th birthday party over three years ago now, would you believe? And then the next one was a debate at the Cambridge Union. And it was a debate with one of the speakers being Lord Sumption, former Justice of the Supreme Court. Very good debate. It was great to meet him. And then another a picture from my 18th birthday party. A Halloween bop uh, from first year. So my friends, this is in West House that I mentioned just before. Again, another photo from my 18th birthday party. And then this one was from a law kind of social event, um, law ball sort of, that I went to. Uh, this would have been probably in second year. It was at the beginning of second year. Really good event. 
And then this one is from my final year of secondary school. So I believe this is a French class. Um, I did enjoy French. Didn't do the best overall in terms of French, but I did enjoy it. And then this is from the Jesus College Mayor Ball. This would have been at the end of year, first year. It's in my vlogs if you haven't seen them already. Uh, hashtag shameless plug. But yeah, this is the G uh, Jesus Mayor Ball. Really good Mayor Ball. Probably one of the best nights I've had ever. Just, it was just so good fun. And you might see some familiar faces or be able to see some um, like Astrid and Paige if you follow them. If you don't, you should because they are great friends and great YouTubers. And then you come over here. These are two kind of like light up letters that I bought probably a year or so ago. I can't quite remember, but I've got them. And then I've got this tinsel that I've, I think I've had since first year, but uh, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd wrap that around there to just make it a feel a bit homely because you want a room that feels homely. When it's not your room or you're in a new room, you want to make it as homely and comfortable and suited to your personality and interests as you can. So that's what I've tried to do there. And then over here, you can see two albums that I've purchased. As a fan of BTS, as a great fan of BTS, it's fair to say, when the B albums came out, I decided to purchase them. So one of them is the Deluxe Edition, one of them is the Essential Edition, and I'm so glad that I bought them. And then behind those albums, there may or may not be alcoholic drinks uh, that I got as Christmas and birthday presents that I decided to bring down, but I'll say no more about that. If we come down a level, you can see various things pinned up on this little wall here. So first of all, you got a poster from one of the albums I purchased uh, of BTS. Very nice. And then come along, you can see on the top left, it's a group photo from the Homington May Ball from first year. And then underneath that is something I got at the Cambridge Union Garden Party at the end of first year. And then underneath that, I believe that was from one of the Harry Potter formals that I went to, um, possibly in first year. Very good fun. I, you know, if you have the opportunity, if you do come to Homerton, it's just a really good event. And then to the right of that is a picture of me and some of my friends at Astrid and Tim's uh, birthday. This was a, I think this was either in first or second year. I'm not quite, can't quite remember. And then I've got some other like notes uh, pinned up as well that I got from first year. And then again, the, the more picture here is from the law event. And then a picture here of me and some of my friends from home at uh, Compline. For those who don't know, Compline is a, a service that you have in the evening. Um, and then underneath here, this is from an event of, that me and my friends went to. Uh, a lot of them actually in my household for this year. Well, these were what I would wear around my wrist during the event. So one of them's from the Jesus May Ball, the Homerton May Ball and the Law event. So I've hung them up as well. And then this is the other BTS poster. You can see the theme of BTS come out here. Uh, but I've got another one that came from the other album. Um, but yeah, I've got that hung up as well. And this is the quite large desk. This is probably the largest desk I've had. Uh, this is the desk I've got here. As you can see, various things are on it. We will start off over here. These are just my uh, charges for my various devices. And then over here is Funnily enough, something else related to BTS. This is something I got from the Map of the Soul 1 concert, virtual concert that I watched, which was fantastic. And then this is uh, something that I got from the Supreme Court. This would have been a couple of years ago or so. When I had some work experience in London, I had a quick opportunity to go and see the Supreme Court. It wasn't connected with the work experience. I just had some time to go and see the Supreme Court. And there I got that, which is just a very lovely uh, item. And then there's my laptop there. And this is a birthday card. Now I put this one up here. This is from my 21st. And I got this for my two close friends, Hannah and Martha. And as you can see, it's just it's just a, a really good birthday card. It's got some pictures of us together. And oh, it was just, it was one of the best things I got for my 21st. And then over here, got some stationery, uh, various things I might need. Post-it notes are very handy when you want to put a shopping list together, which I've been trying to do to be a little bit more organised. 
and then that's just um, some information about uh, room, laundry, etc. that I got when I came into my room for the first time and then some hand sanitizer, very important and much if needed. And then underneath we have some drawers. So in the first drawer you've, you can see I've got uh, the growth book that I bought must have been a year or so ago. It's quite useful if you want to put an itinerary for the day together, put some goals down, etc. Then I've got my uh, earphones, uh, some sunglasses uh, that I can clip onto my glasses that I wear, which is very handy. Then I've got my glasses case and some keys for home. In the second drawer, I've got some other stationaries. I've got some highlighters, I've got some colored pens, some pins, which will be very useful to, for hanging up the posters, etc. I've also got a little stationary uh, wallet there, and then I've got some masks in there as well. Very important at this time. And finally, in the third drawer, I've just got uh, a folder, uh, something to make notes on, and just some other things that I unfortunately don't have enough room to hang up on the wall that I just showed you, but yeah, I've just put them in there for now. What you are seeing now is one of two quite large closets for clothes, etc. And because I didn't really bring that many clothes, I haven't needed to use this one, um, but you can see how much space there is in it. And so I'll show you the closet that does have my clothes in. I should say you've got all my clothes hung up there, trousers, tops, etc. And then if you come down a little bit more, you've got socks and other things in the drawers. You've got my turtlenecks, uh, you've got pajamas, all the things that I would need all there. But as you can see, the size is just incredible. Uh, so, you know, a lot of space, that is for certain. Finally, I will show you a complete look at what my room is for this, what will be my final term as an undergraduate here at Cambridge University. It is a nice comfy room. Now, where do I rank it in terms of the other rooms? I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I think I would say it's better than what I had in first year, which was in West House. As for second year, which was in D&E, I think I've still got a soft spot for D&E. So I'll have to withhold judgment for now and maybe I'll give you my thoughts in a, another video or vlog. But this is my room for this term. I'm so glad that I actually got the opportunity to see this room after so long when I was obviously meant to be here last September slash October. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this room tour. If you have, don't forget to do all the usual things like what you do before. Follow me on all the social media in the description below. Like in the video, subscribe to my channel. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, just comment, share the video with others, tell other people about it. And if you've got any questions, put it in the comment section below. And I hope to see you all in the next video.